It's impossible not to notice. Many of the Russian vehicles invading Ukraine carry a distinctive mark. Trucks, tanks, fighting, engineering and logistical vehicles. They are advancing through Ukraine with the letter Z, painted conspicuously in white. The people being invaded have noticed. Here in the eastern Ukrainian town of Kupyansk, an angry crowd swarms after and attacks a single vehicle. Its only obvious connection to the war, the letter Z. It's almost certainly some kind of tactical grouping. There's a million different theories about what the Z means, but I think it's just a marking, just easy do do do, easy thing to mark, just like a square or a triangle. In a war where the wannabe conquerors are not flying their national flag, that single character has taken on special significance. Ivan Kuliak. At a recent gymnastics World Cup event, 20-year-old Russian competitor Ivan Kuliak accepted his bronze medal wearing a Z prominently on his chest. He was standing next to a Ukrainian athlete. The sports governing body described it as shocking behaviour. But how do you describe this? Terminally ill children and their carers formed a giant Z outside a hospice in the Russian city of Kazan. It's disgusting that the state is co-opting uh, young children to be propaganda mechanisms for their war. It is dangerous when small little symbols become proxies for being a loyal citizen in an authoritarian regime during a time of war, because those who don't wear it, those who don't show the Z, uh, could be targeted by the state. It's the city of Heroi Leningrad. And in this highly produced propaganda video, Russian men wearing that letter declare their support for the invasion, chanting for Russia, for the president, for Russia, for Putin. An aerial shot shows a giant Z made from the orange and black of the St. George's Ribbon, a traditional symbol of Russian military glory, usually associated with victory over Nazi Germany. By accident or design, a character that doesn't feature in Russia's alphabet has become an iconic symbol of Putin's invasion and the propaganda campaign to win support among his people. Phil Black, CNN, London.